butt. Oh my god, the butt part. Oh god. Do I look okay? Do I look skinny? Yeah. Okay, I'm not wearing a bra, so I have to stand like this. <laughs> no <nipples>. T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great, great, great. What's up, Barstool? I'm Maddie Smith, and this is Answer the Internet. Would you rather never have any buffalo, okay, topical, buffalo sauce food again, uh, or only be able to masturbate to pregnant porn? Okay, so lately I've been into porn, so that's unfortunate for this question because the buffalo's gonna have to go because uh, <laughs> that porn does be slapping, you know what I mean? You said, you said I lately, didn't. Like, so it's just lately, like, like within the last year, I've been like, oh, time to watch porn. Like, I do it like every day. For the first, like, it's been like routine lately for the first yeah. time in my life, and I'm really into it. I get excited to watch it! <laughs> and, um, no, literally, the first time I watched and liked it, I was like, oh, the men have a point. <laughs> I'll let you have that one. I it's fucking dog. sick, dude! <laughs> No, I didn't. No, I don't. I don't do crazy shit. I, you know, I find what I like. I don't want to give away too much, but <laughs> girls who look like me. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> you ever watch porn with people who look like you? Uh, life hack. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Answer the internet. Am I bombing or am I doing okay? No, okay. Ready? You don't have to read the, the top part. Like, <laughs> Sorry. All, all that. Okay. We'll edit and post. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Would you rather get stuck at a red light every time for the rest of your life, or? Become a loaf of bread for 24 hours once a year. Okay, so it's like the risk of being a loaf of bread is high. So I'm wondering like, where am I a loaf of bread? Am I in Panera? That's actually is someone about to buy me and eat me? Or am I in a safe? Am I in a box? Like, where's the loaf of bread gonna be? Because that's, that's what I'm freaked out by. Like, what happens when someone takes a bite and then I wake up? Like, is there a bite out of my fucking titty? Because someone ate a loaf of bread, that was me. Versus the red light, there's ways around that. You just um, you just don't drive <laughs> and that should be easy enough so I'll, I think I'll take the the red light because you know if I become a loaf of bread I'm gonna eat myself <laughs> all right just like walking down the street then right it's time for your, your 24 hours of bread you have to be ready and then what happens if you some you have someone who like watches you every time you turn into a loaf of bread but then you know it's like they start taking bites because mm -hmm. it's like when like the the person you trusted is now mm -hmm. and, and then you, you know thing. I'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> and a bitch would. <laughs> I have been betrayed in my life. Okay. Answer the internet. No, I'm kidding. All right. Um, in order for you to live, you have to kill a blind child. You guys. Ugh. I'm a philanthropist. In order for you to live, you have to kill a blind child who has the greatest voice of our generation. Are you killing the kid? I mean, yeah. Like, I kind of have stuff to do. At the end of the day, you're a child. Your loss is like way, way, way less than what me dying would. You know what? I'm 31. Like, I have my shit together. I'm ready to live my life. I told you guys I'm about positivity. I'm like excited to be here. I'm about to freeze my eggs. This guy, oh, you're the song of our generation? Okay, well, Lena Dunham was the voice of my generation. Okay, so. Uh, let's just get rid of him now. So uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm killing the kid. Wow. And you can put that on video and answer the internet. If you were on an old episode of Room Raiders, what would be the most? Af what would you be most afraid of being found? Um, honestly, like it's like literally like I don't know if it's TMI for Barstool, but like sometimes your vibrator gets a little crusty, and <laughs> I'm avoiding contact with a camera because that's horrifying, and I know it's going to show up on my mom's Instagram reels, you know, because the moms are on the reels, and that's the most dangerous place to be. So I'm going to say that the vibrator. Otherwise, like, everything like, is every clean as done, a clam. I'm not trying to. <laughs> Pun intended. I'm like stepping on a frame. If you had one free throw, and if you make it, if you had one free throw, and you, <laughs> why? It's because it has sports. I'm like, <laughs> if you had one free throw, and if you make it, you get a million dollars. But if you miss, you never get to text again. Would you shoot it? Um, yeah, because then I can tell everyone in my life that I can't text. Like, <laughs> stop fucking texting me! Yeah, that's why I want to respond to every text that I get these girl, days. Girl, Easy, and then if you make it, you get a million dollars! So this is a win, double win in my situation. I would actually rather take, I would miss it on purpose. Because <laughs> I'm like, stop texting me. Just Call me if it's that important. That's my girl. 
Dude, you guys really might right? Be I, oh no, I think we're like about to date, but only if you wanted to. Okay. Um, would you rather have to tell your mom every? I'm reading like a, the kid in second grade who has to go to the resource room, like, and everyone's like, "Come on." I'm actually pretty smart. Okay. Would you rather have to tell your mom everything sexual you've ever done, or have to show her your entire porn history? Um, I would probably tell her everything sexual I've ever done because I've talked to my mom about some stuff. We joke about like big dicks. And stuff like that. And my mom kind of fucked. She's like a hoe. She's like been a hoe. Like when she left my dad, she was like out there like finessing her gluck gluck. So uh, I'm going to say it would be easier for me to do that. Then I've told you guys I only just got into porn. So yeah. to be sharing that with your mom is very vulnerable. And I feel like there would be a little bit of yum yucking. You know what I mean? Yeah. When they're like, oh, really? And you're just like, but if you tell her like you got fingered at the movie theaters, she'll be like, me too. Because it's your mom. And uh, all moms are hoes. Would you rather have your mom send you a nude or have her send all your friends a nude um i think i would have my friends receive it what? i would yeah do not show me that so that's horror i told you i was into porn and shit like that like i'll do like stepdad porn but my real dad keep him out of the, keep him out of my business okay <laughs> no what do you say? So like, yeah, go ahead. You guys can look at that. <laughs> I'm related to him. I don't want to see that, but you guys can go fuck my dad. I don't care. Where's my dad? I don't want to see a nude of my mom either. That's TMI. Would you care if your dad fucked your friend? I don't. Yes, I think I would. Uh, <laughs> even though I'm getting creeped. Like, I don't think now I'm getting that. creeped out. Now I'm like freaking out about my dad. <laughs> if your dad and your boyfriend switch bodies and the only way to get them back to normal was to bang, oh my god, that's weird. Uh, the only way to get them back to normal was to bang one of them. Which one would you fuck? Wait, that's really weird. Uh, I don't know, but I don't want to fuck my dad. Either way, physically or emotionally, but I think I would probably, I'm a sapiosexual. <laughs> I just love when a guy has brains. <laughs> no, I don't have any standards, but um, I think I would fuck the mind with the, the yeah, and just be like, let's like blindfold me, so blindfold like, me and put it in, <laughs> blindfold me and put it in, like duct tape me yeah. and put it in, really, because yeah, I don't dad's want old my balls on you. Stop! <laughs> That's my dad's balls slapping his butt. <laughs> oh man! I was thinking it would just be missionary. You're thinking doggy style? No, I was thinking missionary when <laughs> your balls are hitting like your butt. Oh my god, the butt part! <laughs> oh god. god! Yeah, I don't know. They both sound horrifying, but if I could tell my boyfriend just like blindfold me yeah, and just like put I'm with it you in. On that, though, you're, and just your like dad's pump and dump. Brain being like, oh my god, this feels so good. It's like, fuck. Oh. Yeah. And then him oh. seeing like your body. Oh. And that's always going to be in his brain, but it's always going to be mine. Yeah. Oh, that's stop. That thing. was a horrifying one. That's, that's, that's a bad one. Uh, I'm dripping wet. Okay. <laughs> um, would you rather know the lyrics to every song ever? or get $5,000. To be honest, $5,000 could turn my year around. And what's the use of singing if you just always know every song? Wouldn't it be cool to know all the words though? It, it would like, be cool, like, it would be cool. Well, it would like make karaoke songs, like... Yeah. Oh. Like, you, if you were like, like, you know there's always that like a viral video of a girl like rapping. Yes, and oh like, yeah, wow. and it's so you cool. Could do that. It would be great for me, I'm on like a musical show, Wild and Out. Yeah. I'll start with Eminem, I think, yeah. right? Because he's, God yeah, God. right. Oh, wait, oh, beep, 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 beep. So, yeah. Let's do the lyrics. Oops. Would you rather lose a leg or never be able to have sex again? I don't know. I think I would probably lose a leg, right? Sex is pretty enjoyable. Crush. Can you do a crutch? Yeah. But you can okay, I can be a crutch. Leg. Yeah. I can be a crutch. I and I can like make it my thing. I'm like I'm the girl with the crutch. <laughs> I need it. I need like a stick at this point. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I would lose a leg because I always look at that like girl who lost her arm, the surfer. Yeah, she was on gone. People magazine. I'm like, okay, I need to lose a limb. <laughs> would you jerk LeBron off for all of his athletic ability? Absolutely. I think I would fucking my career would skyrocket <laughs> if I had LeBron's ability and I just started sneaking it in. I think I would start sneaking it in with like just like guys like I live in Queens I would just drop by the b-ball court be like you guys want to play and they're like fine because you know guys respect women now so yeah yeah sure you can and, and like freak them out would you rather be the president the Pope or whoever is in charge of North Korea okay so 
I for sure don't want to be the president because that shit looks like work. <laughs> and everyone is like making memes of him every day. That would be my worst waking nightmare if everyone was just memeing me up <laughs> and you have the number one job in our country <laughs> and you're also 81. You should be in Florida. I do not want to be in charge of North Korea. That sounds like a lot of micromanaging. I would fucking, uh, you know what I mean? You're just like, That's so much so like, right. And you're just like always watching what they do. Like, okay, like you have issues. Get on Lexa Pro. But I would be the Pope because that looks fucking chill as hell. All you have to do is like splash water at people, Balcony. like Balcony go out to the balcony. Us. What's up? Yeah. If I was like, the Pope. You can, fuck, you can use condoms. You go to, right. dogs go to heaven. Gays go to heaven. You can go see bros. <laughs> 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 okay. If you could be a master at one of the four bases of sex, but you'd have to below, be below average at every other base, which one would you choose? I have a pretty good head game and okay. I'm like facing away from the camera again, but I actually <laughs> joke about it in my stand-up, so it's not like it's like a new thing that I'm uncomfortable talking about. But uh, so I've been, um, <laughs> and it's awesome because like having a dude nut in your mouth and you're like, fucking yeah, dude. <laughs> Don't text me back again, motherfucker. You just nutted in my mouth. I will always have power over you. And that is better than than having because at the end of the day, if you're like mid at like sex stuff, you still got a pussy. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that shit yeah. still is yeah. there. Oh, if I can't ride you, I still got a pussy. But having a good head game will like change how a man views you. That's a fact. You will change like, a man's you're bad at sex, but just, like, just let me do whatever I want. Yeah, yeah. You're good. Whereas good at head, it's like, whoa, you like, It's oh. a powerful that's like, thing. That's something that's like you have and you don't have. Exactly. We, exactly. Yeah. Hand job. Nah, yeah. I'm good. That's a <laughs> random skill that I no, do I not need. I think on both sides, guys and girls, we're both going down there like, yeah, you know, you we're all that. like performing like we're fucking sluts at <laughs> Magic City in Atlanta. But no, we're in our studio apartment uh, that smells like beans and uh, we're just trying to get each other off. So everyone chill out. Everyone needs to chill out. Sex is getting weird, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I think I've said too much today. Should I throw this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's it? That's okay. It. That perfect. Thank you for watching Answer the Internet. Please subscribe to the channel, comment below on other celebrities you'd like to see, and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications when new episodes come out.